that's a difficult one because um, you're trying to have your cake and eat it. You want to have freedoms online, but you also want to watch content. I think it's, 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 there are three players in here. Governments, the users who generate the content, and then the owners of the businesses, the platforms, the owners of the platforms. We all have a role to play. I'm careful not to say that we should have legislation like you have the, the Nets DG in, in, in Germany, the Facebook law that seeks to clamp down on free speech of, on, as some people look at it. Okay, but it becomes a necessity when we do not have the other players do their or play their roles. Then governments are compelled to have to create uh, that kind of platform where they use legislation to control it. But if the users of the platforms, and, and let's, not, let's not get it twisted, hateful speech, damaging content, is generated by ordinary people like myself and you. They generate that content. They do disinformation, misinformation, fake news. It's people who intentionally do this. If, if, if the users of the internet platforms are going to be more responsible, your freedoms come with responsibility. You have the freedom to express your opinion, but where your freedoms end is where mine begins. And so your freedoms must not infringe on, on, on my rights also. So if you're minded by this, it's, and, and, and it's the same thing in a regular world. You know that you can't just take a gun and shoot me because there are laws against that. And so you may not be happy with me, but you won't, you won't just take a gun and shoot me because you know there are laws against it. Unfortunately, in cyberspace, because there's no clear-cut police and legislation that people are aware of, people are able to say things that are harmful. Cyberbullying happens, trolling happens. If people are more responsible with their opinions and their comments, and then the platforms are also responsive, the owners of the platforms, the Googles, the Facebooks, the Whatsapps, the Beidus, the chat, the chat platforms, if they're, if, they're, if they're responsive enough to be able to have the algorithms, invest in the, in the algorithms that will detect what hate speech is, and deal with them in a timeless manner, and take out those contents, and put in punitive measures, and try to stop people from using their platforms to propagate this hate speech, if everybody plays their role, then we will we'll have a synergy where no, no one group is seen to be high-handed in, in his implementation. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a combination of all three, the, the platform owners, the users of the platforms, and then policymakers.